Brushless motors are any permanent magnet motors, switch reluctance motors, or induction motors that omit the use of a commutator and brushes for commutation. But one motor type is usually implied when engineers use the term brushless motor, the permanent magnet design. These don't suffer from brush wear or arcing, but do need electronic current phase commutation. Basically, brushless motors are like shunt wand motors, except field flux comes from magnets instead of current through a winding. Brushless motor designs incorporate one of three magnet types. Ferrite or ceramic magnets are relatively weak, but common because they resist demagnetization and corrosion, plus they're low cost. Ceramic magnets only work to 250 degrees Celsius, though magnetism returns when they're cooled back down. Warning though, Running at negative 20 degrees or colder can spur permanent loss. The other two magnet types in brushless motors are rare earth types. Samarium cobalt magnets excel in hot applications, and neodymium magnets find use in industrial brushless motors as well as motors in electric cars. Low coercivity neodymium magnets can lose strength at above 80 degrees, but some variants survive up to 220 degrees Celsius. One other drawback is that neodymium magnets can corrode and then crumble. So these are usually treated with a protective coating. Note that there are some naming convention caveats. There are permanent magnet motors with brushes for mechanical commutation, and these are commonly called PMDC motors. Brushless DC motors have permanent magnets, so they're technically synchronous motors, but run off AC from a DC bus and electronic inverter. Brushless DC motors don't run directly from AC lines. They can, with the proper drives, replace DC brush motors, paired with drives, in closed loop applications. Some engineers argue brushless DC motor is a misnomer. To be clear, brushless motors with armature or stator magnets exist and are powered by current to the rotor through a commutator, but motors with magnets on the rotor are far more common. With the ever-falling cost of electronics, today's permanent magnet brushless motor drive systems are often less costly than comparable brush motor systems. Most brushless motors are used in fractional horsepower applications, though higher power uses are on the rise. Output torque in brushless motors is proportional to stator current over the motor's speed range. Motors with permanent magnets are smaller, lighter, and more economical to run than many brush motors. While brushless motors come in single phase and two phase variations, three phase motors are far and away the most common. So let's take a closer look at these. One simple way to control brushless motors is with trapezoidal commutation. Here, current is metered through the motor's phases two at a time with the third unpowered. Hall sensors track rotor position and enable the switching between phases in the correct sequence. The main limitation is that the phase current vectors can only have six discrete directions. In contrast, sinusoidal brushless motor control sinusoidally drives the three motor windings with three currents for smooth rotation of the combined current space vector, always in the rotor quadrature direction and always with a set magnitude. The only catch is that sinusoidal commutation requires a finer measure of rotor position than hall sensors using an encoder, for example, which does add cost. Taking control still further is field-oriented control, which avoids the limitations of controlling time-variant motor currents. This limitation is worst when speeds and frequencies arise from the limited PI controller bandwidth. Instead, field-oriented control directly commands the current space vector in the DQ or direct and quadrature rotor reference frame. Ideally, that's a vector fixed in a direction, aka quadrature, relative to the rotor's magnetic poles, no matter the rotation. The current space vector in the DQ reference frame is static, so the PI controllers run off DC instead of sinusoidal signals. This isolates them from time variable winding voltages and currents, which in turn avoids controller frequency response limitations, among many other things. That way, the quality of current control is immune to the effects of motor RPM. For more videos like this, visit designworldonline.com slash videos.